A report has come out from Zach Lowe indicating that a move is likely to be made by the Toronto Raptors ahead of this upcoming season. With everything still up in the air with the Toronto Raptors, sort of roster construction, contracts not signed, a lot of players entering unrestricted free agency come next season, a move is likely to be made. So we'll break down everything Zach Lowe had to say about this report, the current construction of the Toronto Raptors, and a whole bunch more in this video. But before we dive into that, as most people know that have been watching the channel over the summer, Rentals.ca has been an awesome sponsor to the stuff we've been doing over the course of this summer and i've been calling for you guys to support them and now rentals.ca is here to support you as they're doing a massive giveaway which could land one of our lucky listeners lucky viewers close to two thousand and five hundred dollars and people don't know rentals.ca is canada's largest apartment hunting network they have a website that's extremely clean it's easy to use you can pinpoint your specific location to find the best place to rent and now you can also get a month's free rent and you don't even have to have your apartment bought through rentals.ca or purchased through rentals.ca if you can just show proof that you are a current renter in canada you sign up in the link down below to the contest they're giving away they are going to be giving away uh, the equivalent of your next month's rent with a maximum of up to two thousand five hundred dollars canadian the winner must submit a verified photocopy of their original lease and then confirm their monthly rent costs and then you could be given up to $2,500 from rentals.ca so definitely check out the link down in the description below if you are renting if you know someone that rents tell them to use this link in the description in the pin comment of this video and you could potentially win up to $2,500 you could win a month's rent which would be huge and I'm happy for rentals.ca giving back to you guys they're diehard rentals uh, the Raptors fans they've been supporting the channel big time so definitely check out this contest down below let your renting friends let yourself know yeah get a chance to win that uh, that big money. So shout out to rentals.ca, definitely check out their website. But we have some exciting stuff to dive into regarding the Toronto Raptors. And this summer has been filled with speculation, with Instagram cryptic messages, with tweets coming out from apparent insiders that big moves are going to be made. And frankly, it all does make sense. As the current roster construction for the Toronto Raptors doesn't really make sense. As we currently have Pascal Siakam, who is eligible for an extension who wants to be extended by the Toronto Raptors and if we let him go and potentially win all NBA we'll have to give him a super max contract if he's going to stay with the Toronto Raptors and with all that being the case the team still doesn't really have that intention still doesn't really uh haven't made any public steps in terms of making a contract extension happen with Pascal Siakam. So that whole drama, that whole cloud is still looming over Toronto Raptors fans, looming over the organization. OG Ananobi has made it known. He's hired a new agent, right, in order for him to get a bigger role for this upcoming season. He wants the ball in his hand so he can prove what he's worth, show what he can do out there on the court, and more importantly, land a massive, massive contract coming next summer when he's also an unrestricted free agent. So... There's uh, the two stars of the Toronto Raptors, their question marks are in the air, and then we also have Gary Trent Jr., who did pick up his player option this summer, so he's under contract going into next season, he is one of our potential free agents come this summer, and he's an unrestricted free agent come next offseason as well, and Day one of free agency, we heard the Raptors were nearing a contract extension with Gary Trent Jr. with the star boy, and still haven't heard anything beyond that. Now, Chris Hange, I think Haynes, who was one of the guys that I looked at as very credible reporter, you know, you heard of Woj, you heard of Shams, those are the two guys that you really rely upon in terms of the credibility of their reporting, and then Chris Haynes was kind of a guy that was just a peg below, just one tier below, but after, you know, this Gary Trent Jr. sort of report saying that a contract extension is imminent, then also Chris Paul saying that he was weighed by the Phoenix Suns, and then he ended up getting traded by the team about a week or so later, right, his credibility is kind of phone off, and now, we have some updates in terms of what the Toronto Raptors are going to do with the future of this team, with stuff that's coming out. A Zach Lowe of ESPN, who's another guy that I'd still sort of put in the Chris Haynes range. He's above certainly those sort of, you know, he's not an aggregator by any means. He's not one of those guys that's kind of a flimsy insider that has a lot of connections and just sort of spouts everything that's going on. Zach Lowe, he speculates a little bit. He has some insider info, and he had some interesting comments regarding the Toronto Raptors. And their potential plans over the next six weeks as we head into this upcoming season. As he basically said, 
that Lowe suggests that he wouldn't be surprised if the Toronto Raptors made some sort of move in the next six weeks, noting the team still has multiple key players entering contract years, including Pascal Siakam and OG Ananobi, and has yet to complete an extension for Gary Trent Jr. That was rumored to be close back in June, but the, a lot of balls are in the air for the Toronto Raptors, Zach Lowe has said. So basically, he's indicating, he's predicting that a move is going to still come down the pipeline, and we haven't heard much. In terms of what the Raptors could potentially do, you know, a lot of the talks, a lot of the Atlanta Hawks rumors especially have gone quiet in recent weeks, but it still doesn't change the current roster construction. It still doesn't change our current situation where the Raptors have an extremely confusing roster, right? We do have Dennis Schroeder who, despite his last poor performance against Latvia, has been remarkable come this uh, sort of FIBA action representing Team Germany, but... Fred Van Vliet to Dennis Schroeder seems like a little bit of a downgrade. We were a mid-level team last season, didn't even make the playoffs. Now, we did acquire Jakob Pertl the second half last season. Maybe things would be different if he was on the roster the entire year. But we definitely didn't take a major step forward unless Scotty Barnes takes a massive leap. And, you know, some people are projecting that he could take that m m most improved player of the year sort of jump that we saw Pascal Siakam take in his third season, I believe. But that's still yet to be seen. I don't know. The Raptors roster still doesn't make a whole lot of sense, and I've maintained this entire summer that I don't want to see the Raptors get rid of one of their top guys, one of their top dudes, for just no reason. For no, you know, package, no real pieces back involved, but if you have OG, if you have Pascal Siakam potentially going to leave for nothing, and maybe they wait for the first few weeks of the season and see things how things want to go, but... The Raptors roster doesn't really make sense, so I believe we either have to extend someone, we have to extend our top two guys in OGN and Obi Pascal Siakam, and then if things aren't working out, you can trade them later, or you have to figure out a way. Masai Ujiri has to put his negotiating hat on and get a package that is of reasonable value for these Toronto Raptors players, and maybe he's banking on the fact that the Raptors might outperform their sort of performance from last season under head coach Darko Ryakovic, who still has his own sort of tumultuous situation going up in the air, being sued by the New York Knicks. And, you know, I mentioned it a couple of videos, right? People are brushing over the quarter. That is a very significant allegations that uh, the Knicks are throwing out there. And yes, if it's not true, if the Knicks are just making stuff up, which very well could be the case, as James Dolan, the owner of the New York Knicks, has been notoriously a bit of a nutcase when it terms uh, banning people, getting frustrated with people, being very petty. But if it does end up being true, and it's going into a court of law, so we'll see what ends up happening, or at least it does you know, get charged or whatever with stealing that propriety or information from the New York Knicks. It's going to be interesting to see what happens with Darko Ryakovic. So we'll see what ends up happening with the Toronto Raptors roster. Hopefully they're able to turn things around at the start of the season. And then Masai Ujiri decides to either extend our players or make a decision because we're still in this limbo phase. And it feels like we have sort of been in this limbo phase since... Uh, the 2020 season, right? When we lost to Boston Celtics in Game 7, when Fred Van Vliet got blocked by Grant Williams, that's the point where the Toronto Raptors just became a middle-of-the-pack, mid-level team and haven't really chose a direction of either rebuilding or you know, building out a squad that can compete in the Eastern Conference. Not even for a championship, but be a competitor in the East, That you know, which could then potentially make a move, which then could potentially make an acquisition to jump into championship contention stats because we're not even at that level just yet so we'll see what ends up happening we'll see if a move does end up getting made in the next six weeks as jack uh zach Lowe ends up suggesting but let me know what you guys think about all this sort of stuff that's uh going down in the comment section below additionally team canada has a very exciting game tomorrow morning i believe it's 6 15 eastern if i'm not mistaken and uh yeah I, my brain doesn't really do the the time zone changes that well but uh, wake up early tomorrow, support Team Canada, because we win our game tomorrow. Then, folks, we're going to the finals of FIBA World Cup action. So we'll be breaking down that game tomorrow. If you want to stay up to date with everything regarding the Toronto Raptors, Team Canada basketball, just anything in general, you know, current sports content, hit that uh, subscribe button. It means the world to me. But, folks, you guys are the best for making this far. If you made it this far in the video or you're waiting, hit that link. Definitely check out that link down below for rentals.ca. But, folks, you guys are the best. I'm signing out. Cheers.